Some people call it manscaping. Others prefer to call it body grooming. Now, I don't care what you call it. I just want you to do it. <laughs> and thankfully, more and more men are uh, paying more attention to grooming. And that's what we're talking about today. We are at the European Wax Center at Kahala Mall. It just opened a couple of months ago. I am here with Kyle Foyle. Now, Kyle, you are a lifeguard with the city and county of Honolulu. You're an MMA fighter. You're a jiu-jitsu instructor. So you're... You're a manly man. Trying to be. <laughs> Yet, you come here for waxing. Tell us about that. Um, well, as a grappler, you get, as a, uh, you would say, close contact with men or women, depending. So, you know, you get hair, you get sweat all built up. You get a lot of grown hair, especially with grappling, jujitsu, MMA. You get hair pulled, especially if you have long hair. Like a hairy guy, maybe. You know, it gets pulled, those get ingrown. No, and then all of a sudden you get staff, you get ringworm. Not good at all. So I've been just taking a regular old buzzer and just shaving my chest and my arms and stuff, my head. And, you know, you kind of look like a weirdo in the backyard while you're shaving your head, you're shaving your chest. So I just, uh, you know, related to my wife. She's like, why don't you try waxing? After a couple months, just gave it a try and I actually do like it. You know, after four weeks, it's just barely starting to grow back. So it saves me time. I don't look like a weirdo in the backyard. And, you know, <laughs> I'm happy with the results for sure. So for you, it was for practical reasons, right? I know a lot of other men come in for aesthetic reasons um can you tell us can you walk us through the process for you when you go in to get waxed was did it hurt the first time well like anything the first time you know it's a little <laughs> weird a little difficult but um no it wasn't that bad i mean sure the first removal was a little intense but otherwise it's a lot better than getting head kicked i would have to say or going through wine man shore break but uh you know it's not that bad every you know couple weeks it's not that bad i've been through worse let's just say <laughs> okay. so no i enjoy it it's all right why do you think more men, especially in their 20s and 30s, are coming in to get groomed? That's a sign of the times, you know. I think the 80s was Burt Reynolds, you know, and the hairy chest. Yeah, that was like a sign of being a man. And I think nowadays it's kind of like men are taking care of themselves. You don't, you, you know, the caveman era is kind of, maybe it'll come back around. just like everything comes full circle. I think for right now, guys are kind of looking at themselves and making, you know, they want to look good for their ladies and, you know, kind of peacock maybe. But, you know, <laughs> I think it works good for both sides. I do. Does, does your wife like that you get groomed and waxed? I think she does, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not a hairy guy, but I think she does, you know, you know, she does enjoy it. I think most women do, you yeah. know, for sure. You know, I'm glad you brought that up because I bet a lot of men out there would be, oh, my lady doesn't care. Mm -hmm. She probably does, and she doesn't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's definitely a sense that nobody likes getting told, uh, you know, that little hairy thing on the back, you might want to take care of that. Right. For sure, everybody's a little sensitive, but I think, you know, just like anything, relationships, communication, and I think guys got to listen, and, you know, it might help. It doesn't hurt, let's right. just say that much. Well, maybe the wax hurts, but, you know, it doesn't <laughs> hurt. Well, here at European Wax Center, I looked over their menu, and they actually have 26 different uh, offers, services for men. So oh. that's a lot. And the most popular ones are nose, ear, and eyebrows. Wow. Have you tried any of those? No, I haven't, but as my dad always said, you do get hairier as you get older. I'm not a young pup anymore, so I'm getting older, so I... I haven't tried yet, but I probably will be going down that road as I get a little older, you know. I'm still young, I'm still young. Well, just like for women, we should all have two eyebrows, not one, that right? That's true. And that, true. that holds true for men, too. I think that's universal. <laughs> all, D all of above. Yes. <laughs> um, so it's good to kind of, you know, we're, we're talking about what some people don't feel comfortable talking about. So sure. we encourage folks to come on down. European Wax Center just opened at Kahala Mall. Um, and actually, uh, your first treatment is free for men if you come in for your ear ear, nose, and uh, I think it's eyebrows. Is that right? Ear, nose, and eyebrows. It's free for your first time. So if you're at home, maybe you've thought about it, but you're afraid to give it a try, come on down. Your first time is free. What do you have to lose, right? Nothing to lose except some hair, maybe. <laughs> That's about it. All right. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. And I have to say, mm -hmm. guys, if you are thinking about doing this, mm -hmm. definitely head on down to the European Wax Center because it is a world of difference. If you try to wax at home versus actually going to a professional place, yeah. you're going to want to head down. Yeah, and it was funny. I had a friend that just went to go there, a guy, and he said they're so... Uh, you know, he kind of came in because it was his first time, and he's like, no, no, they're so welcoming. There's an area that you can go for the guys, and, and they take care of you. But to be honest, Kelly, I mean, I like that this one. 
the sports thing, MMA, mm -hmm. grappling. You don't want to be, you know, pulling out arm hairs. So that's very cool. I can see that definitely from a sports angle. I hadn't even thought mm -hmm. about that. But then also now that I think about it with swimming. Yes. Swimming, swimmers oh, go hairless swimmers as well. Swimmers are all of good. our friends that play football and they have to have tape. I know a lot of them, they shave their, you know, so they say, hey, just right. go get a wax. And you were saying lasts much longer than shaving. It right? does. I would say at least twice as long as shaving, if not longer than that, possibly three times longer. So go. definitely a good alternative. Head on down. Yeah, there. and ladies, as Trini was mentioning, she made a good point about this. You know, holidays, maybe gift certificate. If you want to just hint to your man, or maybe just, <laughs> just use it as a stocking stuffer. They have gift certificates down there, and it's a great gift idea for your man for the holidays. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Yes. <laughs> and then also, again, as they were saying, the first time for the yes. guys, it's free. Yeah. So definitely something it's a to good check deal. out. I'm going to check it out to say the least. Yeah. <laughs>